In our beautiful region, hiding in plain sight is an ugly truth. Human trafficking is thriving in the shadows. Victims of labor and sex trafficking are all around us. People exploited, manipulated, and tricked, facing impossible choices that lead them into the hands of traffickers. And in San Diego, a hub for agriculture and the military, and for conferences and conventions, more people, more men in our region means more demand. In 2014, PLNU launched the Beauty for Ashes Scholarship, the first college scholarship in the nation for survivors of human trafficking. And in 2018, our first three scholars graduated. We've seen the scholarship unlock opportunity and change lives, and also create space for healing and empowerment. My name is Maya. When I finally left my trafficker, I wasn't sure how to rebuild my life. I couldn't even imagine a future. There were so many obstacles in my way. Things like not having a safe place to live, struggling with my mental health, with no friends to support me, and no way to pay my bills. These things made college seem impossible. We recognized that our survivor scholars needed support before they arrived at the university and while they were here. It was more than just being able to pay for college. So we asked, what if we had a plan to help survivors navigate these challenges so they can really thrive in college? We see it like taking a trip towards your future. But you need a safe way to get there and you need a plan. If you don't have good tires, gas in the car, a working engine, a driver's license, it really doesn't matter how many on-ramps or opportunities you have in front of you, you are still stuck. And that is how the Flourish Academy was born. Designed to empower survivors with the tools they need to thrive, this 12-week program teaches life skills from the lens of holistic health. Every individual uniquely reflecting the image of God Combining hands-on activities with teaching moments and group discussions, each week participants build resiliency and gain new skills, new ideas, expanded possibilities, restored hope. Finally, I began to explore ideas that I once never even considered possible. What kind of job do I really want? What do I need to get to that job? How do I build an action plan to build a more stable life? What can I do each and every day to foster my independence, resiliency, and hope for the future? Who can I count on to walk with me in the journey? And how do I nurture those relationships? Every survivor's journey is unique, and support is needed along the way. And we need more on ramps, other avenues for education and job training that match the beautiful diversity of survivors' interests and talents. If we pool our resources, we can go farther and do more. OnRamps envisions education and vocational training as the pathway to end exploitation. Partnering with universities, community colleges, and vocational schools, we will make this opportunity viable for more survivors. And that is the goal of the OnRamps Collaborative. At the Center for Justice and Reconciliation, we believe in dreams audacious hope in the resiliency within each of us, and an understanding that we can't do this alone. Together we can do more, go farther, and reach higher, and every day we see hope rising.